Right. Um, lovely ethical question here. Um, I think the first thing with Labour, because we've been looking at variances a lot now, you're happy, of course, you must be happy that if you reduce the grade of Labour, so if you get, yes, you will have a favourable um, labour rate variance. Of course you will, because you're getting cheaper labour. But what you're more likely to have here now is um, a, a greater or an adverse labour efficiency variance. That's the first thing, because, of course, you're going to have two issues. You're going to have a learning rate issue. When I say learning rate issue, people will take longer to learn how to do things, one, and they're just not as good. That's the first thing. Um, now, this feels like a short term. What you start tend to get with these type of things are very um, short term benefits, if you like. You, in, so in terms of your reputation as a business, what people have come to know you for, for your quality, all that's going to suffer in the long term, simply because you're making these short term benefits by getting cheaper um, um, labor because it's a lower grade of labor. There is also the issue of um, um, redundancies because you're going to have to let people go. And because you're going to have issues of redundancies, um, you're now really moving into motivation issues where if your staff aren't motivated because they see other people leaving or and then culture changes, um, you will have you will have issues as a as a business in, in satisfying your stakeholders. I think the other issue, again, like I say, is that ethically your clients are expecting a certain quality um, and that is not there. So the question is maybe you need to inform them. I think the same thing really to do with material applies. Cheaper material, you will, yes, have favorable material price variances, but unfavorable um, material <clears throat> usage. You should let the client know to a certain extent because they are expecting, like I say, a certain grade. And um, what are you, if you're selling this on to a third party, they may be using it, who knows, um, to construct schools or hospitals. And now there is a, a cheaper grade being used. And therefore, there are ethical issues with re with regards to the client or the user and the quality of the material that the user is, is has. So I think a number of, of issues there. Um, again, this could lead to low morale because they're using cheaper material. They've been used to using better material because you're blaming them for the um, adverse variances that are taking place. Let's look at what some of the things they've put through. So um, reducing the skill labor. Again, like I said, you have a favorable material variance, um, but here, Redundancies cost the firm more in the future. Long-term success, exactly. Um, redundancy, you reduce the morale, and this could have an effect on the local community. I didn't think about it. Um, again, the, the the customer, the client, the, the client is expecting a certain level of value. Um, and so if, if, if it's been a case of um, putting pressure or putting bonuses, assigning bonuses to who can get the lowest cost, th th that is really... Um, from an, in, an, should I say, that's a self-interest, it's a threat of self-interest. So uh, managers are getting bonuses based on being able to find the cheapest item, and that's not goal congruent with the organization. I think this is a lovely term you want to use a lot, goal congruent. We are trying to advance and improve the status of the organization and push push our products out there. And so, in the, so what we don't want is short-term benefit at the expense of long-term um, growth of the business. I talked about, yes, the impact on the final product. If the inf inf if the end product is inferior, then the customer should be informed, you see, um, again, because we don't know health of the consumer. There's an issue there, um, what this consumer is using this for. Cool, great stuff. That's um, question 219.